Okay, so we're gonna start with our jump training. I may, I don't know, I may in the future do jump training at the end. You let me know. But we do need to warm up the ankles and the legs a little bit before we just, you know, right off the bat go into jumping because that's kind of violating the rules of warming up. So let's start with just your right foot and you're gonna circle it around five times like that as best you can. Really loosening up all the tissue, all the fascia, all the muscle around that ankle. Now go the other way for five. Good, then do the other side. So circle around one direction. And then go the other way. Circle five times the other way. All right, and then you're gonna rock back onto your heels up on the toes. Heels, toes, heels, toes. So the knees stay bent when you're doing that little heel raise there. So rocking back and forth, and again, just kinda warming up the ankle joint so that we can jump safely. Two more, rock back in front. One more, rock back in front. Then, I know it looks weird, but you're gonna roll outwards, kind of under the edges of your tennis shoes, and then back in. Roll out, bring it in, roll it out, bring it in. So this is also improving mobility, flexibility in the ankle joint. You want flexibility this way, because often when you twist an ankle, it's usually in this direction. So the tighter you are in these ligaments and tendons and muscles, the more likely you are to sprain, tear, strain. Good, now just kind of walk through the feet, kind of like a little fake jog in place, fake jog. Kind of rolling up on the toes for eight, seven, six, five, four more. Three, two, all righty, so kick it out. So the jump training, this is all about building bone density, but also about improving those quick twitch muscle fibers, which are responsible for power, explosiveness, speed. So I'm gonna give you three ways to do your jumps. Level one, you just go up on your toes and then kind of, uh, kind of drop those heels down. It's almost gonna feel a little jarring, but that's how you build that bone density. Level two, it's a little kind of a baby jump. Jump, jump. And then level three, if you're really wanting to go for it, it's more like a vertical jump. You know those tests we used to do in junior high, high school, maybe elementary school, but you're going way up, like you're doing a slam dunk. <clears throat> I'm gonna stick with level two, just because of my stuff, but feel free to go high, high. We did 10 on, uh, today's Friday, we did a uh, Wednesday. We're gonna do 15 today. When we get to 20, rather than just, you know, go, 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 we're gonna just start to add some weight as we jump. Who just tuned in? Ingrid, I wondered where you were. Good girl. We're jumping. Get ready, girl. <laughs> okay, so 15 jumps on your mocks. Get set, let's go. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. All right. So just kick it out. We'll continue to move here. Shaking out those hands, kicking out those legs, bringing the leg across. So you're gonna push those arms down, up, and around. Down, up, and around. Here we go. It's Friday, it's upper body day. Get those weights out, get those bands out. Get a little mat out for later on core work. Good, now feet apart, you're gonna push your palms to the back wall here. So the movements we do here in the warm up are primarily focusing on warming up that upper body. So kind of going through all those joint actions, we're gonna go bicep curl, tricep kick back. So you just wanna keep that body moving below to improve that core temperature, increase it, get that blood circulating rapidly through the body. So curl, press. Every time you bend that elbow, squeeze your biceps. Every time you straighten, squeeze the triceps. 
eight, seven, four, three, two. Now down up in the middle here, shoulders roll to the back, palms facing the front here. Go the other way, shoulders come forwards. Let's open up those arms a bit here. The palms are still facing up and thumbs to the back. So engage that shoulder girdle, kind of tighten it up around that shoulder socket. Go the other way, thumbs are down. Now we're starting to bring those arms around to a diagonal line, kind of pointing to the corners there. Give me eight, seven, four, three, two. Now right here in the middle, quickly, just kind of drop those hips. Palms are extended out like this. Go the other way, circle it around. Good job. Now go down low here and per circle round and around. And then go the other way, circle outwards. And again, just trying to warm up that shoulder socket, get that blood circulating all through that upper body. And four, three, two, one. Now we're gonna reach down, we're gonna reach all the way up. Inhale, squat, exhale, reach. Just feels good to move. Movement is medication. Motion is lotion for your joints. Give me four more. Three, two. Lunge it from right to left. You're gonna reach over the head here. Big side lunge. Nice long arm, reaching up and up. Go four, three, two. Now go across the front here, around and around. And four. Three, two, hands on your quads. Big side lunge right to left here and drop one shoulder down in the other. Now three count pulse over here. Go one, two, three, then reach all the way up. Same deal over here. Three little presses and then we go up to the head. Inhale, three, two, one. Reach up over the head. Three, two, one. Stretch it up. One more on each side we go. Good, one more. Now big inhale breath here, inhale arms up over your head. Exhale round down to the front. Inhale up, exhale chest expansion. Inhale up to the top we go. Exhale round down to the front. Inhale breath up, exhale chest expansion. Do it again. Inhale breath up, exhale round down. Inhale reach tall, pull the elbows out. One more time we do this. Take it up to the top, and then drop it down. Good job, now walk your feet together. Shake it out, kick it out. Should be kind of warm now, yeah? It was hot yesterday. Or was it just me? I mean, my AC never quit. <laughs> it was working hard all day. I want you to pick up your lighter weights. We will go through a series of all the exercises pretty much that we're gonna do with the light weights. So use this as an opportunity not only to practice good form with the lighter weight, but also thinking about activating the muscles involved in those joint actions. It's easy to just kind of do it and you know, your mind is somewhere else. You're making up your grocery list. But let's just try to really focus in here with what we're doing. And I'm still gonna do a little bit of lower body just to keep that whole body moving. So first move, side lateral raise right here. So the elbows squeeze into the side body and then lift up, inhale, exhale. Let's go eight more reps like this. Don't go any higher than shoulder level. I wanna stop it about right there. Just protect that shoulder joint, four more. Three more, two. Now overhead press. Come here, press all the way up. Drop it down, press all the way up. So the hands, they face front, face each other. Drop and press up. Drop and press it up. Inhale, exhale. Eight more reps, go. Make sure those arms are right over your shoulders. Now out in front, extend directly up. Four more, three. Two, now get ready to keep 
your arms over the head. You're gonna drop and then press up. So it's a tricep extension. And again, just a little micro bend in the knees. A little bend, straighten up, down and up. Keep your eyes looking straight ahead. Keep your elbows up high. Let's go, eight more reps. Down up seven, six, five, four, three, two more. Next move, dumbbell rows. Here we go. You stay in a hip hinge position. The back is flat, hips are back. And you're gonna reach long arms in front of the knees, pull to the rib cage right here on the sides. Inhale, exhale, eight more reps. Four more, three more, two. Listen up, tricep extension from here. It's called a kickback. So you straighten the arms and you bend, straighten the arms and bend, straighten and bend. Come on, squeeze the back sides of those upper arms. Make that muscle hug the bone. Squeeze around that bone. Eight more reps. Seven, long neck. Keep your abdominals engaged strong here. Four more. Three, two, now listen up. Keep your arms straight, flip your palms up and lift. Straight arms, lifting up and up. So working rear delts and triceps again. Push, push, chest out, shoulders back. Go eight more, seven, six, four, three, two. Now bicep curls, then go down and up, release. Curl it up so the palms face the front here. Just like that, release it down. Curl it up. So you kind of keep those elbows glued in to the waist, right there into the side of the body. Keep your neck long, shoulders are down and eyes are looking straight ahead. Change it to hammer curl here for eight. So the thumbs come right up to the shoulder there like that. Four more. Three, two, now last exercise, front raise, up, drop, lift, drop, lift. So the hands are facing down, elbows are a little bit bent, and don't go any higher than shoulder level. Stop it there. Stop right there. Here we go, down up eight. Inhale, exhale, seven. Four more, three more, two more. Last time, all righty, big shoulder roll around like that. You should feel even warmer now. Got it all warmed up, all activated, all loose and lubricated joints. Yeah, kick it out. Feels good, feels good. Now, even if you just did that part right there, what we just did and then left, you have already done way more the 99% of Americans and maybe human beings. So don't feel like if you can't do the whole hour, there's no sense in tuning in. That's so not true, okay? You could tune in and just say, I'm gonna do 10 minutes and then I'm gonna go back to my day. You can come back an hour later, do the same deal. So I want you to kind of get out of that mindset that says, well, if I don't have an hour, you know, I just don't have time. I guess I'll skip it today. So not true. Sometimes it's better to do little snippets all throughout the day because what that does is it fires up your metabolism and it keeps it up here. Sometimes if you just do an hour in the morning and then you sit the rest of the day, that's not so good. You know, sitting for a prolonged period of time, not good. Okay, so these are fives. We're gonna go through some more focused exercises, same as this we just did, but maybe a little slower. So starting with side raises, we're gonna drop those elbows into the waist and then lift to there. Inhale as you drop down. Exhale, lift. So squeeze elbows down into the side body. Just imagine that you're kind of pushing your elbows, your inner arms through some sort of thick substance, like a big vat of quicksand, tar, 
peanut butter, almond butter, cashew butter, whatever, but you're trying to just push through it and it's hard. And then you lift up, stop it there. Press down. Exhale up. Inhale on the lower. Exhale on the up. One more slowly we go. Let's try eight reps quickly here. Go down, up eight. And if you need to, go one at a time like this. That's always an option for you. Kind of depends on your weight, on your body. Two more. One more. Now hammer curls. We go right, we go left, we go right, we go left. Now do a little heel raise with that one there if you can. Heels up, heels up. Or I'm doing a demi squat, just a little isometric demi squat here. Keeping the back straight, keeping the wrists locked out and straight as well. Curl it up, curl it up. Now turn the hands this way, palms facing up. Make sure you go all the way down to straight there, straight there. You don't cut yourself short on that range of motion. You wanna go all the way up to the top, all the way to the bottom. Bring it up, bring it up. Here we go, eight more reps. Still doing your heel raises if you can, yeah, yeah. Again, I'm just doing this for me, modifying for me, four, three, two. Now shoulder press slowly. We're gonna come down right here. We're gonna press straight up over the head. So this time the hands face each other the entire time. So you pull the elbows out wide and then you press straight up over the head. Inhaling on the squat down part, exhaling as you go straight up. Lower, lower. Press up and extend strong. Inhale down. Big exhale on the out part. Inhale, exhale, pushing up and out. Inhale. Exhale, down, down, up and up, down and down, Woo. two more, slowly that is, yeah, one more, gotta turn that fan so I don't hit it, let's go faster now, down up eight, seven, six, five, come on, push it up four, you can use the legs a little bit to help, help, help. Help from the legs. Keep your arms over your head. Tricep extensions right here. Let's go. It's again a heel raise. When those arms go up, or you can just do a little knee bend here with me and then extend. Down and up. Inhale, exhale. Keep looking straight ahead with your eyes. That will help with your posture. It'll keep your neck, hopefully, in a good alignment here. Let's go down up eight. Down up seven. Four more, three more, two. Now get ready to do dumbbell rows. So those dumbbells come down here, separate your feet from the knees, hip hinge, gonna pull, gonna reach. Here we go, pull it up, reach down, long arms, long arms, and then bring all the way up. So your thumbs are almost right there at the sides of your rib cage, right there. Release, squeeze your blades together, your shoulder blades, squeeze together and reach. Exhale, inhale. Now, a little change on the next eight. I want you to do reverse grip. Looks like this. So the palms face the front as you do it. And you're gonna pull, same thing, elbows up high and close to the body with those hands and dumbbells there. Two more. One more, now tricep kickbacks. Turn the hands back this way. You're gonna bend the elbows, straighten them. Inhale, exhale. Now if it's too much weight, you can just do like everything else, one at a time. Maybe for a few, then do back to both. Push, inhale, exhale. Are you looking out there in front, maybe at the baseboard, way beyond you, at the other side of the room? Keep your arms straight here. Now backs of the hands, lift up and up. Chest goes out, shoulders back. Come on, work it, work it. I know it's heavier, but do eight more. Seven, six, four, three, two, last one. And then shoulder roll, ah, up and around you go. How are we doing? All right, kick it out, shake, shake. Just because I don't like our lower bodies to be still for so long. 
Gotta move a bit here. So one more with these weights. Gotta do those front raises. So we're gonna go slower and we're gonna stand with the feet apart here. Arms are right here in front of your quads. So you're gonna drop down into a squat. When you lift up, it's a front raise across. So we're going one arm at a time. And you come across the midline there. Inhale on the down. Exhale, bring that arm up and across there. Inhale, exhale. Keep that elbow slightly bent. Do not lock it out. Good job, down, down. Up and up. Inhale, exhale. And you don't have to squat this much. You could just do a little baby squat or you can do a bigger one. But again, the focus today is totally on the upper body. We're gonna shoulders here. Inhale down, exhale up. Inhale down, exhale up. Do four more slowly, come on. Lift up, hold it, and then come down. Lift up, a little pause there maybe, two more. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Go faster tempo now. Drop and lift it up, up. Yeah, yeah, here we go. Eight more reps, let's go. Down up eight, seven, six, four more, three, two. Now reverse grip bicep curls, looks like this. We go down and then we go up. So the backs of the hands are lifting up and then to the back of the room there. Palms facing the front here at the top. So your elbows are down. Arms kind of look like the letter W. Make a W, you go down, up. Two more. One more, now we go slower. So two counts to lower down, down. Two counts to come up and squeeze. Inhale, down, down. Exhale, up and up. Inhale. One more like this, same tempo, but it's a concentration curl. So we lower down here, we curl up and around. So you kind of make this funky half circle. Lower down, curl it up and around, and then out to the side there. Palms are facing your body here on this one. Inhale, exhale, double concentration curl. Inhale, drop. Exhale, inhale it. Come on. One more slow. Now we go faster, but one at a time. Here. I know, it's crazy. You just do what you can. Don't crash your hands into each other. Here, in the middle. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, so just kick it out. Kick, kick, kick. Shoulders roll around to the back. Okay, so drop those. I want you to get one of your flat bands. These are by far, of all the equipment I have here, these are the cheapest. So if you have nothing, get these first. And what I love about these, and I used to do this a lot, when I did personal training years ago, I would uh, give my client one of these. And as we went on our walk, hike, jog, whatever, we'd just set the watch. And as we're walking along, we'd be doing, you know, whatever exercise for one minute. And then we just switch sides. It's an excellent way to integrate your upper body strength training in while you're out walking. You might as well. Don't worry about what other people think. Like, who's that woman? lifting that banner up. It doesn't matter. You're getting fit and they're in a car watching you, maybe. And it doesn't matter. You just gotta get to a place where it's okay if you look a little bit, you know, I don't think it's ridiculous, but you know, I kind of have to remind myself, oh yeah, sometimes people think that's weird. Like one time I was hiking on the trails up here and I had my uh, trekking poles. I use trekking poles. Maybe I'll show that to you tomorrow. But I was skipping, I figured out this is a great way to skip. And as I was skipping along, 
you know, like I'm 12 or something, <laughs> two guys start laughing at me. They're like, oh, are you skipping? And I'm like, yep. And then I, you know, we cross like that. And then when I was about to cross paths with them again later on, on the other side, I intentionally just skipped <laughs> skip past them. It's like, I'm having fun. I'm getting fit. Y'all are just being funny. Okay, so grab your band. Wrap it around maybe a time or two. Just kind of depends what we're gonna be doing. And I'll show you from the side. One arm is locked out. The other arm is gonna pull back like that. Maybe I should go this way. Elbow is gonna pull back. Pull back, pull back, pull back, pull back. So you gotta lock this one out, working rear delts and lats. Let's go. Pull back eight, pull back seven, six, five, four more. Three, two, now get ready to switch sides. So walk out your right arm and pull left arm back and then reach out, pull it back, reach out, pull. Go four, three, two, and we're going back to the right arm. Again, pull back eight, slow that is. Seven, six, five, four more. Three, two, now get ready to do the same movement faster. Tempo, pull back eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now this arm goes out here locked out. Left arm gonna pull back, eight reps, slow. Seven, six, three more. Come on, two more. And get ready, let's go faster now. Pull back eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now just a shoulder, roll up and around. Just kind of relax, shake it off, roll it out. So similar concept, but this time we lock out that left arm and we're gonna pull down here. We're gonna pull down and then reach. Elbow into the side of your body. So it's like a lat pull down machine we don't need a machine we got a band let's do eight more slowly come on here we go down eight down seven six four more you got it three more two more now listen up don't let go yet we're gonna do fast tempo here now pull pull so you might not get all the way up but do pull all the way down elbow to the hip to the waist go eight come on seven Six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. Exhale, down, down. Good, lock out the right arm. Left arm does two sets of eight slow, and then two sets of eight quickly. Here we go, pull, and then reach up, pull. Reach up, pull down. I've got to lock out that right arm over your head, right there, like that and squeeze right behind your shoulder blade. That's where your lats are. And we go down, eight, seven, six. Keep your eyes looking straight ahead. Good job, four more. Three, two, listen up. Going faster now, but do go all the way down, all the way down and down. You might not go all the way up, but do pull down, pull down. Come on, you got eight more. Seven, work it. And four, three, two, one. Come all the way up and then exhale down. And all the way up. Exhale down. Good job. Roll it around and around and around. Next exercise. This is for rotator cuff. So let the band fall across your palms. Shoulders down. By the way, do you like this shirt? This should be a reminder of what to eat. We have, what's up here? Oranges, peaches, kiwi, blueberries, pineapple. That's orange. What is this up here? Maybe that's a strawberry. I can't see, it's too close. We are gonna work rotator cuff. So grab that band there. You're gonna pull it right to the belly button. Now notice my elbows are still dug into my waist. I'm not going there. I see that a lot, so don't do that. Imagine you've got a $100 bill tucked in there, one tucked in there. If you do that, you lose. <laughs> Let's not lose. 
So here we go, pull back and then release, pull back and then release. Now I'm using a pretty light band just because of me, but you could use a stronger one. You gotta decide what's the best resistance level for your body. Pull back, pull. You can do a little heel raise there or a little knee bend and extend. Up, drop. Can we go faster tempo? Quickly now, pull eight, seven, six, four, three, two, and one. Then relax, shoulders around, down, up, and around. Just shake it off, let it go. Bring the band around behind your back. Now I'm gonna use a little bit stronger band. And this one is kinda old. It actually snapped last time I was using it, but I'm gonna see how long I can use it before it snaps again. When I say snap, it just rips. You know, these, these rubber bands do break down over time. That's why you never wanna store them outside in the car, in the garage, in the attic. Keep them in the house. So what I'm doing here is I'm kind of gathering up a little wad in each hand and it's up high around my upper back. And what we're gonna do is lift your elbows out here, hands here, we're gonna drop a little bit and then push to the front. So imagine that you are doing a dumbbell press, elbows bend and you extend all the way out in front of your chest there and the palms turn to face each other. So right here, they turn and face each other, open up, and then press. So hands face down, face each other, drop and lift. You wanna to try to make cleavage right there. So squeeze those pecs. Trying to bring those pectoralis muscles closer together into that center line. Go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two more. Now get down low and crisscross those arms. So one goes on top, then the other. And you cross, and you cross. So make an X with that band there. Go eight more, go seven, six, five, four, three. Now even faster, push, push, push. Keep the arms extended out in front. Don't come in here, stay out there. Keep crossing over, over, 10, and nine, eight, seven. Push it out farther. And good job. Tap your toes wide. Drop it. Push those arms to the back, palms pressing to the back wall. So a little active stretch here through the chest and the shoulders. Push back. All right, step, touch it. With a shoulder roll, then around to the back. Go four, go three, go two, go one. All right, kick it out. Next, one arm, dumbbell row. Probably should have told you to get a chair, but you don't need a chair. But if you have one close by, you might like it better if you can put a hand on it or even just like a hand on a wall. I'm gonna just put a hand on this thigh. So one arm dumbbell row, get a pretty heavy weight, whatever you've got. Or maybe you put two together to increase that resistance. Your lats, which we're working here, they are the strongest muscle in the upper body, followed by the chest. We tend to think chest, yeah, bench press. But really the back muscles, they're huge. They start up here and go all the way down to the waist. So let's go with dumbbell rows. Ready, arm is extended, back leg is straight, front knee is bent, hand is here. You can be up kind of high, but if you're able to, come over more. Let's do two sets of eight slowly. We're gonna pull up and then release. Exhale, pull, inhale. Again, you're scraping that inside upper arm right up against the waistline, elbow past the waist there. Go two more, one more. Now a little faster, but don't release all the way, just down halfway and then hike it up, hike it up, hike it up, hike it up. Here we go, pull up and up. We do eight more, seven, six, five, four, three, 
two, hold it up here on one, and then drop it down. Stand up, circle that arm around and back. Circle around and back. Just nice and loose. One more big circle. Good, now bring this arm across your chest here. Drop your shoulder, pull it in, and then a little head tilt over here to your left. Good, inhale up. Exhale, little tricep lat stretch. Come on up. Swing it out. Okay, other side, ready? Left leg straight, right knee bent, hand on your quad, grab that dumbbell. Here we go, here we go on your marks, get set, let's go. Slow for the first two sets of eight. You can do either hand here like that, or if you're able to, come on down a little lower, pull it up, drop it down, exhale, inhale. Eight more slowly, seven. more you got this three more two and we're gonna go faster right here pull it up maybe halfway drop it do hike that elbow all the way up here pull it up pull it up eight more seven six four three two one drop it down and then circle that arm around and back big giant circle it's just like you're trying to fling off all that tiredness and tension. Now bring this arm across, face the front, sink down, drop your shoulder, pull the arm into your chest here. Okay, good, lights on. I guess you can still hear me. I don't see red, angry faces. Tilt your head over there. Good, inhale, arms up. Exhale. A little side bend to your right. A little lat stretch all the way down and even a little tricep bonus stretch. Good, come on up. How are we? I'm gonna get something to sip on. I have my bands attached to the door here. So these are the long stretchy bands that have a door anchor. So I know not everybody has these. So I'm gonna show you first how to do these. And I'm gonna give you an alternative with the dumbbells. This is a straight arm pressed down from here. So as you're pushing through, 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 through to the back, you're working the rear delts and the triceps. You even get a little abdominal work too because we're gonna start to flex forwards there a little bit like this. So we're gonna inhale, breath up, and then we're gonna exhale down there. Now, if you don't have these, we're gonna grab some dumbbells and you're just gonna hinge at the hips and you're gonna lift up and then drop. So what you're missing really is just from here to there. You're gonna get that part in the range of motion, but you're just gonna miss that very first part of the movement, which is why I like these bands. Okay, so grab a hold of your dumbbells or your bands. Get yourself situated. I'm coming farther back to create a little more resistance. So we're gonna exhale as we press down and back. Inhale up. Exhale, push. Inhale. Exhale, push those arms back. Exhale. Inhaling as you come up. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale it. Inhale. Let's do one more slowly. I'm gonna come back a little bit more. We're gonna do eight faster reps now. Press eight, seven. So maybe towards the back half of the range of motion. Four more, ah, three, you got this. Come on, two and one. All right, Whew. drop it, swing it out. Next exercise with the same bands 
If you have dumbbells, it's gonna look like this. So you're gonna hold pretty light ones, probably two, three, four, five at the most, I would say. So you're gonna hip hinge, you're gonna just pull your arms up. So you only get to shoulder level, maybe a little bit below, and then you drop it there, and then you pull it up. The nice thing about here is you don't have to be over there. You can stand up pretty tall, nice and tall. So are you ready on your marks? Get set. I'm gonna come over here a little bit so I don't hit my wall. All right, so exhale, pull back. Inhale, reach. Exhale, pull back. Inhale, breath, reach. Exhale, inhale. So I'm trying to keep my shoulders down. I'm trying to keep my neck long. And I'm trying to really squeeze my shoulder blades together here. Inhale, reach. Let's go four more slowly. Inhale, reach. Exhale, squeeze that upper back. Excellent exercise to correct sloppy forward posture. Can we go a little faster? Eight reps, go. Eight and seven. Six, five, two more, one more. Now we're gonna do one more set of eight, even faster than that. Go eight, go seven, at the back, range of motion there. Go four, three, two, hold it back here on one, hold it, and then release. And you can just do a little shaky shake. Okay. Swing it out. Next exercise, bicep curls. You can use heavy weights, just basic, you know, underhand grip, bicep curls. I'm gonna use my bands. What I like about the bands, and I've said this before, but just to kind of reiterate, because there's always new people coming into the group, and it never hurts to hear this stuff again. The band's resistance increases as you go through that range of motion. Think about a dumbbell curl with a heavy weight. Oh, hard, 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 hard. Here, nothing. It's just kind of resting on the bones, right? So really, the hardest range of motion is kind of right at the beginning, and then there, once you start to come up to the top, it's all about physics, which I never took, but I think intuitively my body understands it, uh, just from doing gymnastics. It's all physics. So with the bands, here it's easy, 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 hard, 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 the hardest right here. So even here, my muscles are working very hard to keep it from snapping back. Whereas with a dumbbell, it's just kind of, it's easy for the muscle to not even flex anymore. Hope that makes sense. But anyhow, just want to kind of explain the difference. It's not like one is better than the other. That's why it's good to do both. You get all kinds of good training. All right, here we go. Bicep curls. We're going to go one at a time. So right and then left. Curl up the right, curl up the left. So notice my elbows are kind of out there in space. I am not pulling back like that. I'm pulling over the top, over the top. It's almost as if my elbows are resting on an imaginary shelf right here at chest level or a little lower, rib cage, belly button level. And curl it up and drop it down. Come on, curl up and drop. Curl, drop, stand further back for more resistance. If it gets harder, you can scoot forwards a little bit. Another thing I like about the bands is you can change the resistance just by where you stand. Curl and release, curl and release. Go eight more, slowly, seven. Four more. Three more, two. Now for the faster reps, I'm stepping in closer. Let's do fast, fast over the top. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and then release. You just kind of shake it out. How are we? You can still hear me, I suppose. Morning, 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 morning. Hi, Belle. Hi, Patsy. Water break, yerba mate, tea, orange, lemon, L-glutamine, 
ginseng, green tea break. <laughs> it's easier to just say, go, go juice. You gotta help yourself have energy sometimes. And it's not like it's a eh, caffeine, you know, speed high. It's just, it's just a nice little elevation in alertness and energy. So for me, it just, it makes working out that much more enjoyable. Who wants to work out when you're, you know, just rolled out? I've had people show up for training. They just rolled out of bed, didn't even drink or eat anything. And they're just dragging through the workout. It's like, why, why? You want to set yourself up to have the maximum energy expenditure in the workout. That's how you burn calories. That's how you get strong. That's how you get a good, you know, exercise, good strength training. Okay, we're gonna do one more standing up and then we're gonna take it down to the floor. I'll show you a couple of floor moves you can do with the both the dumbbells and the bands. So this one, I am going to turn around with my back to where these bands are attached, right? And I'm gonna do a chest press first. Then I'm gonna go into tricep extensions over the head. So it's like you're throwing something out. So you don't wanna just drop and do push-ups if you don't have these bands. So what you're gonna do first is you're gonna do tricep kickbacks and then you're gonna come up here and do tricep overhead extensions. Just trying to help y'all have options, options, options. So grab your dumbbells if that's all you've got or Grab your bands and then you're gonna come out here in front. I'm gonna put this foot front. Maybe I'll come around here a little bit. So my elbows are out wide. I'm leaning forwards. So when I come here, those hands are like directly in front of my sternum. So we're gonna inhale, open, exhale, push. Open and then push it out. Inhale, exhale. So sometimes you gotta do a few to figure out, okay, where do I need to stand to get the best resistance for me? Inhale, open, exhale, push. Don't come too far back. Just stop when elbows are about even with your body line. Here we go, eight. Inhale, exhale, seven. Two more. One more, now from here, arms are gonna go up. The palms are facing out. I could even kind of hook a thumb through each loop there. Head is right here in between my arms, right? And then I'm gonna bend those elbows here and then I'm gonna straighten all the way out, squeeze those triceps. So inhale, bend. If you got the dumbbells, you're standing up tall and you are just doing tricep extensions over your head. Exhale, push. So you're gonna drop those dumbbells behind your neck and then you're gonna go straight up over the head to the top. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Come on, let's do three more slowly. Squeeze it out tight. Inhale, bend the elbows. Exhale, press it out. One more time, inhale, exhale. Let's go faster now for eight reps. Push, inhale, exhale, seven. Three more, two, and then hold it out there straight on one, push. Whee, and then we come up and let go. And swing it out. Okay, get a mat, get a towel, whatever you have, Pilates mat. And we are going to do just a couple more deals. Yeah. I'm gonna get a towel as well. So tomorrow, the uh, dress code is, <laughs> not that I can see you, <laughs> but why don't you wear red, white, and blue tomorrow's workout? I mean, it is just stretch and foam rolling and the strap. But we're gonna do some squats and wear your red, white, and blue. Okay, so come down onto all fours here. And then I want you to grab your long flat band if you have one. Trying to think of options here for those of you that don't. So, the dumbbell option is like that. See my little light two pounder? And then I'm gonna come under here and then I'm gonna just kind of push. So it's not straight back, it's kind of back to the corner there. With a band, 
here's how you do it. You're gonna stretch it out. You're gonna anchor the band down with your left hand right there. Bring your right knee more to the center. I want you to stretch your left leg back. We're gonna add a little lower back strengthening stabilization here. Now just with the right hand, kind of gather up a little wad and just do a quick rep or two to kind of see how that feels. It's a straight arm push back. Now, inhale breath. You're gonna lift the left leg up. Exhale, right arm goes up and drop. Lift it up, drop it down. So you're keeping your left leg up. It's not dropping and lowering. Just the arm is going up and down. And lift and drop. Here we go. Eight more reps. Let's go. Up eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now faster tempo. Here we go. Lift, lift up there in that higher range of motion. Keep it going. Push it up and up and up. Let's go. Eight more. Almost there. Go seven, six. Hang on. Five, four, three. Two, hold it up on one, and then release. Ha. Round your back, tuck the chin, push your hips back and come into a nice extended child's pose stretch. Come on up, inhale. Exhale, take that right arm, the one that you were just working. You're gonna slice your hand across to the top left corner of your mat, and then you're gonna sink into your right shoulder. Awesome stretch all the way down the right side of the body. Okay, come on up. And now we're gonna do the other side. So anchor it down with your right hand here at the top right corner. And then take your left knee a little bit more into the center. Stretch the right leg back. Gather up a little wad here in your left hand. And then maybe just do a rep or two to kind of see how that feels. Again, if you've got the dumbbell, you're just simply lifting it out there to the corner. So lift your right leg up. Gaze is out beyond the mat. Ready to go up eight and drop. Exhale, lift, inhale. Do eight more of this tempo, kind of slow up eight. Exhale, seven and six and five. Push back four, higher up with that arm, three. You can do it, two, last one slow. Let's pick up that pace, press up and up and push, push. Keep that right leg super still, hold it out there in space. Go, eight, seven, six, five, four and three and two. Hold it up on one and then release and push on back into child's pose. Breathe, inhale. And then exhale it out. Good, and then come on up, inhale. And then exhale, take that left hand across to the top right corner. And then you're gonna see, so your hips kind of swing over there to the right. You're gonna drop into the left shoulder, rest the side of your head maybe here on the bicep. Try to keep that left arm straight, maximize that stretch there in the lats. Big inhale breath here. And then exhale it out. Oh, that stretch feels so good, especially after that workout. Okay, inhale breath, you're in tabletop. And then exhale, come all the way back. Nice child's pose stretch, reaching the fingertips out to the top of the mat and breathe. One big inhale breath here. Long exhale breath out. And then from here, come onto your elbows. Scoot your knees back so you can plank it here. You can plank it here, or you can plank it here. So one minute on your mox, get set, let's go. So we are planking, and when you are planking, the goal is to focus on those abdominal muscles pulling up inward towards your spine, kind of flexing the glutes, spinning the tailbone down, shoulder girdle is strong here. Big inhale breath. And then on the exhale, Try to remove that arch in the back as best you can. Try to imagine straight line from your shoulders all the way down to the heels. Again, inhale breath. And 
and exhale it out. Can you lift the right leg up, hold it there, inhale. Exhale, do like a little passe. So bend the knee high on the side, touch your toe to the inside of your left knee, stretch your leg back, inhale. Exhale, set it down. Same thing, left leg. Inhale, breath, lift it up. Exhale, breath. It's like a passe in ballet. You bend the knee high on the side, toe touches the inside knee. Inhale, stretch it back. Exhale, down. And then drop your knees. That was a minute. Good job. And then drop your hips back. Stretch those arms out. Big inhale. And then exhale it out. And then come on up. And then you're going to turn around and have a sit on your mat. One more abdominal exercise and then we're done. So this one, you wanna grab a weight, not too heavy. I would say two, five, maybe at the most five, maybe eight, eh, maybe five. So if you've got bands like I have set up, I'm gonna show you how to do it with those. But first I'll show you how to do it with the uh, weight. So you're gonna hold here like that. You're gonna bend the knees. You're gonna round the spine. So you kind of tuck the tail under, pull those abdominals in. Dumbbell is here. So we're just, you've seen people do this with a medicine ball. So just pretend this is a big ball here that's weighted. So we're just gonna rotate left, exhale. Inhale through the middle, exhale to the right. And we go left and we go right and left and right. So that's how you do it with the dumbbell. Or, 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 woohoo, we're gonna try it if you have the bands. This is even harder because like I said, the resistance increases the more you pull away from that attachment point. So it's gonna be an amazing abdominal oblique exercise. So I'm gonna hold both handles together in the hands here. So inhale, you got your dumbbell, so you're either your dumbbell or this. Ready, let's go to the right, through the middle, twist left. Exhale, twist. And then I'm gonna come back even further. Twist left and exhale. And I gotta get centered, so I'm squared on with it. And twist and twist. Are we doing it? Are we getting the feel of it? Twist to the right, twist to the left. Exhale, 20 and 19, doing a lot. 18, 70. Go 10 more, come on. Nine, squeeze it. Eight and seven and six and five and four and three and two. One more time, twist left and then come up and drop the weight, drop the bands. Come and face the front with a cross leg position here. And let's just do a wonderful stretch for your obliques. So we're gonna inhale, left arm up overhead. Exhale, come all the way down onto that forearm if you can, and just stretch that arm over the head towards the wall on your right. Now just turn and start to walk your hands out. So wherever your kneecap is pointing, walk, walk, walk over there and feel that wonderful stretch down this left side of the body into that QL. That's that muscle that kind of wraps around on the back side at the low waist. Good, and then come on up and then just uncross and recross the other way with your legs. This is probably gonna feel weird because however you did it first is your default. And we wanna sort of interrupt those default things with the hands and the legs and lots of other things. So inhale, breath, right arm up. Exhale, breath, drop this forearm down. Try to keep that sit bone anchored. Reach this arm over. Again, you should feel that stretch coming all the way down into the hip. Turn your head to look down and reach this arm out, out, out. Now start to drop this right shoulder down. So look at where your kneecap is pointing. Imagine reaching your arms out there, kind of on that diagonal, but especially your tips out. So you feel that stretch coming all the way down into the hip. Good, and then come back up. And then from here, you're gonna come up onto the back knee, tuck those toes under, stand yourself up, and then just swing your arms out, out, out. And I'm gonna show you a stretch in the corner. I think you can see 
all the way over here, but it's basically like the doorway stretch. So elbows are even with my um, shoulders and the hands are directly over the elbows. And then you just come into a corner here and then just push your nose into the corner. And I see cobwebs, unfortunately, here. Oh. And then come away, inhale. Exhale, go again. And then push away one more time, inhale. And then exhale, step in. Even push that knee into the corner and just stretch those pecs. Should feel really, really good. Lift your chin up a little bit. Inhale here. Exhale it out. And come up. And let's just roll that up and swing your arms out. All right, we are done. How do you feel? Arms feel pumped. <laughs> Somebody saw me yesterday and she's like, wow, you've been lifting weights? Have you been eating? I'm like, thanks a lot. <laughs> I hope I don't look that, you know, buff, buff. It's about just being strong and toned is really um, all we want to go for, right? So have a wonderful Friday. Tomorrow is July 4th, and yes, I'll be doing um, the stretch and the foam rolling. We're going to use um, a stretch out strap. So if you've got one of these that has all the little loops in it, um, who was it? I think, was it you, Eve? You said you found these at maybe Walmart for like eight bucks, nine bucks. I don't know. They're pretty cheap. So just keep an eye out for these next time you're at Walmart or Marshall's or Ross or wherever you are shopping. <laughs> and, uh, I mean, $10 would be a, a very good, that's a steal really for these. Cause some of those super, super well-made ones are anywhere from 40 to $50, which might be kind of overkill, but anyways, this works. So we're gonna use that, and we're also gonna do some foam rolling. I wanna just show you some, some more ways that you can address pain in your body and tightness and just speed up that recovery process um, from working out. And wear your red, white, and blue. <laughs> I will try and find some. I do have something red, white, and blue, actually, now that I think of it. But it's got elephants on it. But it's okay. So we're going to be patriotic. And we will have a good stretch. So I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye. Thanks for joining.